Moderna is set to give millions more Americans access to a desperately needed COVID-19 vaccine. The FDA is expected to give Moderna emergency use authorization sometime today after a panel of experts gave its recommendation Thursday. Authorization would clear the way for nearly 6 million doses to be shipped across the country. If all goes well, the first shipment could be delivered next week. The doses will be shipped out from a medical supply company in Irving, Texas. UPS and FedEx will be responsible for getting the doses to the final locations. Colorado is expected to receive almost 96,000 Moderna vaccine doses. And those doses could be even more important now that the governor's office says the state is getting nearly 17,000 fewer doses of the Pfizer vaccine than expected. The state was anticipating more than 56,000 Pfizer doses to be delivered today. Colorado is getting just under 40,000 doses instead. Other states say they are getting shortchanged on doses as well, including California, Michigan and Florida. Democratic Governor Jared Polis' office says Operation Warp Speed leadership made that decision. Governor Polis says he hoped it's just a one or two week delay. The state says we're going to make up for some of those doses lost with bonus doses that we're finding in the vials of the Pfizer vaccine. Pfizer initially said each vial of its vaccine had five doses in it, but the state says the people preparing the shots are finding enough for a sixth dose. This is happening across the country, and this week the CDC and the FDA told health providers to use that extra dose, just don't combine different vials. Governor Pola says this is happening enough that Colorado will just expect to get the bonus dose, which means we can get about 20% more shots out of each shipment. At this point, we're comfortable uh, moving forward with the assumption that six uh, doses is the norm per vial. And so the numbers that the state reports on Pfizer vaccine uh, will show a different number than what the CDC says they are sending us. We will show a number that is 20% higher and it will be revised downward based on actuals. The governor says 25,000 doses from our next Pfizer shipments will go to vaccinating people who live and work at long-term care facilities like nursing homes. The rest, about 14,000, will go to hospitals so that they can continue vaccinating frontline health care workers. State epidemiologist says overall our COVID-19 numbers are high, but they're headed down. If we can avoid a spike over Christmas and New Year's, health leaders say that we could get kids back in classrooms in January. They say by March we could be back to what we were seeing this summer.